Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide and we are on April 22nd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at space weather, world weather and everything affecting humanity. Starting out here looking at the sun as earlier today we did report the C-class solar flare looking at the last 48 hours imagery incoming here last 48 hours that earth facing C-class solar flare looking at outgoing images as well pretty active sunspot region there from zero sunspots a couple weeks ago to now four and this one departing here is very active you can see lots of plasma around it lifting up very active sunspot Should, throwing out see me is plasma filaments and now we're looking at our second solar flare of the week and our third CME so a very active week across the sun and as well I spotted this takeoff from the sun big thick piece of plasma looking here at last images you can see the coronal hole is departing and there are no earth facing coronal holes but that was a direct hit, Earth-facing C-class solar flare. And you can see it's on its way here, looking at the spiral. And it will be arriving on the 25th and 26th. From the 25th to the 26th of April. So heads up, everybody, because this does affect our hearts and our minds and as well could knock out all satellites if we if it was a big one luckily it was only a c-class flare looking here lasco 2 lasco 3 you can see when there is an earth facing event it will be all you'll see the wind stream all around the circle that is in front of the sun looking here on lasco 3 you can see the full wave of the earth facing event that was a full corona event you can see the wind stream all around there looking here at a real-time solar wind we're sitting at 391 kilometers per second looking at a small flip-flop in the phi angle and as well the temperature but still geomagnetic activity remains low Schumann re resonance is low as well power of 12 quality of 6.6 .6, but we are green across the board Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours. Most recently here reporting another earthquake in Ferndale, California, 3.1, 15 kilometer depth, as well as 2.9 was reported there. And another one just reported recently, 2.8 there in the springs. So yeah, lots of activity towards the Juan de Fuca and all the springs in Northern California. Other than that, I mean, you look at the North American plate, that's pretty much all the action right now. But there's been a lot of microquakes through the Cascade regions as well, the New Madrid. Looking at earthquakes from Sparta, North Carolina. Small earthquakes through uh, Tennessee, Missouri, and westward and into, into Oklahoma, where you see a small swarm there. Small swarm down in Mexico now. This is the last 30 days, USGS. Lots of activity up into the Cascades. So heads up, everybody. Things are starting to increase across the North American plate, but it's small quakes. 
looking here the Caribbean picking up some action Puerto Rico 3.7 ranging up to 3.4 as well a 4.8 there reported in Nick, uh, Nicaragua Caribbean plate I swear there's a big quake coming there is a big quake coming to Central America stay aware and prepared as well a large 5.5 here reported in San Antonio Chile quite a few aftershocks after 4.1 4.7 as well a 4.1 here in Peru 123 kilometer depth quiet through the African plate one lonely quake here to report Afghanistan 202 kilometer depth 4.7 here in Bengkulu, Indonesia, South Sumatra. As well through the Philippines, 4.6 reported here in Sayago. And as well a 4.6 Indonesia. Pretty deep earthquakes throughout the region though. Papua New Guinea there as well, 4.5. And then through Fiji, here we go. 4.4, 4, 535 kilometer depth, 4.6, 567 kilometer depth, and a 4.2, 595 kilometer depth. So we are expecting something big, folks. 4.1 here, reported New Zealand. Not much to report through Hawaii. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. One lonely earthquake here in Japan. 4.0 but it's all the small quakes that are a bit concerning through cascades up into Juan de Fuca and into Alaska looking at the last seven days these deep earthquakes are a telltale sign for a larger shallower earthquake to come so be on your toes have a plan be ready through some of these regions that are kind of quiet or stressed especially through the Caribbean plate. Another eruption in Sufri today. So these are my warned regions. I'm kind of zooming in through the, the regions that I think are going to pop. Have a plan. Be ready. Much love for humanity. That's the last seven days for earthquakes. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here, showing the most recent volcanoes to update from around the world. Sangay and Ecuador. As well, Sufri, who erupted early this morning, Ibu, Indonesia, Dakono, Indonesia, Ebuko, and Russia, as well, Fuego in Guatemala, Sabincaya, Peru, Era in Japan, Sufri in St. Vincent, Reventador in Ecuador, Semisnapochnoi, United States, Popo in Mexico, Semeru, Indonesia. So yeah, that's about 15 volcanoes regularly getting updated every day, but we have 42 active and erupting across the world. My apologies for not getting out the update just yet, but the volcano update will be coming tomorrow. Full count on all of the active and erupting volcanoes. Looking there, pretty big system in the Pacific Ocean. And we still have uh, Tropical Cyclone Sirige who's been spinning now for 10 days and is going to head into the Pacific Ocean, probably spin for a bunch more days and head into Alaska. And then we've also got Tropical Cyclone Jobo here, who's been spinning now for three days and is heading into the shorelines of Tanzania as a most likely Category 1 cyclone, unless we get some kind of strange out-of-the-blue space weather event that kind of ramps it up. I've seen it happen before. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta. Is, yeah, we had some yeah, some flurries come through this morning here in Calgary, but a lot of southern Alberta through the foothills. They got quite a bit more snow than we did. Most of it blew away. It was a pretty cold high-pressure ridge behind it, but we do have another snow event coming Saturday to Sunday. And it could be a blowy snow event again, but there is a low pressure system coming from the north with some really cool temperatures behind it, minus 15. So yeah, it's going to start through northern Alberta and move southward 
as well. Big system there. Uh, Northwestern United States and BC Coast. Watch for rain for the next few days. Big system here developing through the Gulf. That's going to bring extreme weather from pretty much Friday night through the whole weekend as the system races across three states and then up the coastline into Atlantic Canada to bring a pretty windy and rainy event to parts of Nova Scotia. Overlooking the Atlantic, big smiley face looks like there. Some big systems in play. And this one here is heading back to the Hudson Bay, spinning around the interesting wherever our North Pole is. As well, the big system we've been watching here heading into Spain and Portugal. It's going to bring a rainy event for the next few days, parts of Western Europe. And then watch as it heads into the Mediterranean. But really cool temperatures as that lingering low from Russia and parts of Eastern Europe hangs around still got a lot of snow and cold temperatures wrapped up with it overlooking russia and southeast asia big high pressure ridge developing over russia starting to warm up across the region it looks like but these intense systems coming out of the pacific now are telltale sign for the shift into the next season, of course. Here we're looking at the projected forecast for tropical cyclone Surigay. And then most likely we'll be heading into Alaska. No major weather events through um, Malaysia or Indonesia, nor Australia. High pressure ridge hanging around. Extreme weather here expected in South America, especially through the mountainous regions of Paraguay and Bolivia. You could see some really extreme weather Monday into Tuesday, as well through southern parts of Argentina. Big low pressure system there affecting them. You can see a long line of moisture all wrapped around this large high pressure ridge. Overlooking Africa. No major weather events until Jobo makes landfall, which most likely will be making landfall. Uh, let's see here. Saturday into Sunday. And then if the center of the low is still alive, which most likely will be, it will be over Uganda. So yeah, very strange weather forecast still kind of watching these huge systems across the planet form and gain their velocity, gain their strength. Join forces with other low pressure systems, deep lower level troughs. I think we're on the verge. The big shift is here. Thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate you tuning in every day to the daily do. Don't forget to hit that like button. Please share with your friends. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.